Donkey Ollie. And these are the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments were given to Moses by God. They tell us what our duties to God are, as well as our duties to other people. They are the most important rules we have. Hi, boys and girls. The second commandment clearly says, Thou shalt not worship any graven images. That means we shouldn't build statues in the likeness of God or to any false god. Now, Farmer John is one of my favorite humans, but I think he would be the first to agree that he is no god. My brothers meant well, but they just didn't know how to honor God. God should be worshipped, but not with any images. When God spoke to Moses, he didn't see God directly. What would God look like? No one knows. In my travels, I have met many people who have beliefs different than my own. In Egypt, there were false idols everywhere. The Pharaoh believed himself to be a god and treated others poorly. Very impressive, but it's going to take more than a singing donkey and raven for me to release my slaves. In fact, I shall have looters increase their quota of flax. My son, I hardly would have expected this treachery from one of my own blood. Father? No, son. You've already caused me too much grief for one evening. I suggest you take your friends out of here before I decide to feed them to the crocodiles. And if you are to succeed me on the throne, you had better realize that the soft-hearted are also the soft-headed. And when you rule, it is with an iron fist. I also told the Pharaoh's son about God and Jesus. No, he never me. No, he's conquered death. He's closer than my shadow. Dear than each like that. I believe it now. I do too. When is he going to take us away? When you die. Your spirit is going to live forever in either heaven or hell. And if you trust in him and not yourself, you can go to heaven. How do we do it? I can help you pray if you want. I did. It made me feel a whole lot better. It's not easy to convince someone that their beliefs are wrong. Ramses believed, but his father wouldn't. They who had to enter a great chariot race to win back the freedom of the captured children. To the winner today will go any wish he desires. Only one will win, only one will wear the wreath. Let the race begin! <laughs> After Jehu won, the Pharaoh had a change of heart. You ran a good race. Speak now, for the reward is up to half my kingdom. I have come to ask for the release of the Hebrew children and my donkey, Ollie. Do I have my wish, great king? Yes. For one so young, you have spoken wisdom. Perhaps I have judged your people wrongly. Not only shall I return your donkey <gasps> and your children, but I will give them each a bag of gold to remember their time in Egypt, and in hopes that your God, the Lord of all lords, will not look harshly on his servant, the Pharaoh. Take my niece, Alondra, to be your wife, that there may be unity between your people and my people. You're free. Your people are free. God is so much more than just a picture or a statue. He wants us to realize that no one else can do the things he does. Who can make a butterfly? Or a flower? or an entire world.